How to write a commemorative speech. What is a commemorative speech? From the dictionary, commemorate is a verb that means to recall and show respect for something or someone. Again, it also means celebrating an event, person, or situation by doing something. So, to commemorate is to mark an event, honor, salute, act as a memorial, and more. A commemorative speech inspires your audience, uplifts, and whirls them up through a transformation journey. It's an address of praise, tribute, or celebration that you give with passion and a sincere heart. This speech can pay tribute to a person, an event, a group, an institution, a thing, or an idea. What is the purpose of a commemorative speech? The main goal of a commemorative speech is to motivate the audience and increase their admiration for the person, event, group, institution, or idea. It should express feelings and evoke the sentiments of the audience. To achieve this aim of the speech, you should be creative and use subtle language. If you aren't sure how to write an outstanding speech or have a tight schedule, we got you sorted. Hire our writers for speech writing help. Some examples of commemorative speeches we can handle include eulogies, testimonial addresses, nomination speeches, goodwill, wedding toast, award acceptance, and dedications. The following are the significant steps in writing a commemorative speech. Choose a theme or topic through research on the topic, brainstorm the content ideas, develop, understand your audience, craft an outline, write an attention-grabbing introduction, a memorable, catchy introduction, share the critical details with the audience, a deep message write with a personal touch or from the heart, conclude naturally. 1. Choose the best topic or theme. As we have said, this speech aims to praise or celebrate a special occasion. So, your chosen topic should uplift your audience at this special event. Therefore, to choose a great topic, you consider the following points, understand the aim of the occasion, find out what's the key to delivering a great topic. Connect with the people in charge of the event to understand their plans or the expectation of the audience and other crucial details of the event. This information will help you create a relevant topic. Commemorative topics vary with the event, depending on what you are celebrating. It's best to seek advice from someone conversant with such a ceremony. You can also combine with online research to learn the best topics and writing strategies, learn your audience from your research, ensure you understand your audience. Be aware of the event expectations, who are the target, and their beliefs, preferences, and ideologies. So, learning your listeners will help you develop the best topic to inspire them, deal with qualities, focus on the characteristics of a company or a person clearly and logically. Be sure of what the target audience celebrates about the event, thus, it will be easy to choose the topic. 2. Develop content ideas. Brainstorm the ideas that you should include in this topic. Make a list of the key issues you wish to address with your audience. Some of the elements you should focus on if writing about a person or company includes significance of this person to the others, key memories or information you wish the greater audience to know. If you were listening to this speech, which stories would you like to hear? How do you connect with the person or the company? Outline the speech on the key ideas you wish to address. Start filling out the details and reviewing them to ensure that whatever information you share is focused on the theme. Fine-tune your phrases to make them appropriate for the audience by using a good choice of words. Your choice of words should resonate with the listeners of your speech. 3. Write a memorable introduction. Start your speech with a catchy statement about the person, organization, or event you celebrate. Build a personal connection with the audience using figurative language and allow your feeling on the subject to shine through. Examples of figurative language are metaphors, idioms, similes, synecdoche, hyperbole, personification, etc. 4. Communicate a deep message. This speech aims to inform your audience about a specific subject you are celebrating. So, even as you honor or celebrate the occasion, the message should be clear and meaningful. Ensure your points or ideas flows logically and leave a mark on your listeners. You can use a narrative, list accomplishments, or even quotations. 5. Conclude naturally. Provide a summary of the significant points in the speech. Illustrate how the subject will impact your audience in the present or future. Consider also a call to action to the listeners on how they can follow the said example about the person or organization mentioned in the speech. If you use the steps mentioned above and the tips recommended on how to write extemporaneously, your speech will be exemplary. Commemorative speech outline. To write a great speech, you should have a well-drafted outline. Write keywords in your outline that will prompt you to remember the whole line. Your speech should consist of an introduction, body, and conclusion. How do you start a speech or introduction? It isn't easy to grab your listeners' attention or win them. 
As you present your speech, it should capture their senses from the introduction to the end. If you fail to grab their attention, your speech will be boring and you won't achieve its purpose. The following are great ways that you can consider in starting your speech to make it memorable. 1. Tell a fascinating story or share an anecdote. Telling a story is an exciting way of hooking your audience at the start of the speech. People like listening to stories, which can compel them to understand the speech better. Your story should be brief, feature relevant details, and use the correct language that evokes feelings. Again, you can tell a personal experience before starting your speech. This anecdote makes the audience learn the speaker's background and helps them connect the experiences to their lives, too. Use flowery language, use metaphors or quotes to capture the audience's imagination and make your introduction memorable. Apply relevant quotes from great men such as Abraham Lincoln, Mahatma Gandhi, etc. 3. Ask a question, open your speech with an intelligent question that will engage and hook your listeners. You can pose several rhetorical questions to stimulate the audience's mind and have them ponder something. Asking questions helps your listeners become curious to learn more and attentive. 4. Use interesting facts, state a statistical fact that relates to your presentation topic. Take your time to research and come up with the best. You will win people's trust, your speech will sound credible, and they will listen to you. 5. Make a joke, humor is critical in presentations as it creates a warm atmosphere and closeness with the audience. People will be eager to listen so that they can laugh. Also, this humor will give you some moments to organize your thoughts and handle your nervousness. Write a detailed body, the body contains the key information of your speech. It should have three or more main points on your presentation theme, but remember to tell the key things only. A lengthy speech will be boring for your audience and they might not remember anything. Ensure you apply the following tips in this section. 1. Choose the most important points and discuss them in this section. 2. Give supporting examples that match your speech. They can be personalized to ensure you connect with the audience or event. 3. Use transitions to make a logical connection between your points. Write a compelling conclusion. Your final section that sums up your speech is the conclusion. You should write an effective conclusion that ends the speech naturally, give a summary of your main points, restate the thesis or main point of your speech, give a call to action as you end the speech. For example, something people can learn or emulate from the life of a successful entrepreneur if it's a eulogy or if celebrating an award ceremony. Best tricks for rehearsing and presenting your speech. Before presenting your speech, practice well before a mirror or camera if you can access one. Monitor your movements and gestures as you present and work on those showing nervousness. Again, ensure that you don't make unnecessary moves or gestures to avoid losing your audience. Again, to gather confidence, you can practice with a small group of people like your family or friends and let them judge you. This tactic will help you learn the expectations of your audience and even learn to deliver the message. The other hacks to consider while presenting includes 1. Dress decently for the occasion, you don't want the audience to break into laughter when you appear and affect their concentration. 2. Make sure your notes are organized before you begin presenting. 3. Stand in a straight manner with your weight balanced. 4. Make eye contact with your audience. 5. Avoid merely reading the speech but communicate. 6. Use your gestures and movements naturally to describe something. Seven. Speak with appropriate loudness and speed.